the hunt isn't over. Invincible Michael Jeffrey Jordan will be mine. In our last pack opening, 2K did me extremely dirty. We ended up pulling Michael Jeffrey Jordan, but it was the Walmart version of Michael Jordan. Not exactly what we were looking for. And in that same pack opening video, I did say this. We managed to get 6,500 likes on this video. I will do even more pack openings hunting these invincibles if that's something you guys wanna see. Y'all ended up getting 10,000 likes. Damn. Currently, this card's going for about a million MT, which is a lot, and technically, we've got enough to buy this card, but where's the fun in that? Instead, one last chance, one last dance of the pack openings, not only for MJ, but for Kareem, another Kobe, and even a duplicate Larry Bird. I will take anybody, but we need an Invincible today. I've bought so much VC over my content creating career, and every single time, I absolutely hate it. Oh my gosh, that's another million VC. Are we crazy? Who's calling? Hello? You stupid dumbass! You're telling me you're buying VC again? How much more do we have to talk about this? You're going broke! You're ugly! You're five foot two! Yeah, so my bank and my accountant are both mad at me, which is why I heavily recommend y'all always save your money. Let me be the idiot and make this content for you guys. Now, of course, if y'all are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Y'all been going crazy with the content. I seriously appreciate the love that y'all been putting into the videos recently. I've been having a ton of fun with not just the pack openings, even though they might suck, but I've been, I've been having a lot of fun with the squad builders, and hopefully y'all can see the kind of energy that I put into my videos. Now, one thing that is fairly obvious obvious is I decided to yes, do it sir. ladies and gentlemen yes, your boy yes, officially yes, has twists sir. no longer am I HTB I am H twist B does that make sense but can y'all rate my haircut out of 10 this is like my first time getting twists so I gotta know does it work on me do I look like a dweeb was I better off with the afro style hair y'all let me know in the comments low key I didn't think it was gonna work out but it did I mean look at the pattern y'all let me know but um we're four packs into this. The only goal here is not just Dark Matters. We got Dark Matters in the last episode. We want an Invincible. And one thing that's actually crazy is I might go open the Super Packs from Tuesday as well. Because from what I'm hearing, you can actually make the most MT from opening those. People that are pulling the Ben Simmons, the Jokic, maybe even the Yao Mings are getting way more MT than us pulling Jeremy Lin and that stupid John Stockton over and over and over again. Pack numero 9 out of 20. That's where we're going to see that first Dark Matter glow. Now, y'all already know there's one person that I don't want to see in here. I saw him too much in our last pack opening. There's no way 2K does me dirty on multiple pack openings. If y'all showed me good pack luck, do you know how good that would look for you guys? 2K doesn't even want to advertise their own packs in a good way because, ah, oh, he's back. He's back. He's back. The further we get into this box, the more I regret my decision. 13 has never been a lucky number, and that is only one number higher than you know who with that jersey number. Yeah, so we're not gonna talk about it. PJ Brown's like, I don't know what's worse, the pack that's coming out of here or that new hairstyle HTB. Y'all, again, rate it out of 10 in the comments and be honest, is it good or is it bad? He's haunting me, he's haunting me. I really might just end the video right here because if this is what it's gonna be, I don't wanna do this. I wanna pull it invincible, but at what cost? I don't even want to think about how much we've already spent this weekend trying to pull an invincible. Don't even tell me in the comments. I'm not going to do the math. I'm going to let my accountant get mad at me. But 15 out of 20 here, it doesn't feel like the dark matters are flying out as much. Maybe everyone just absolutely drained them on Friday because, uh, yeah, right now it's not looking too good. Already about to be done the first box and, um... All we've seen is uh, two John Stocktons. There's a Jazz playbook. It's already telling me that this next Dark Matter isn't gonna be any better. That's assuming we even see one. We'd have to get back-to-back -back Dark Matters right here for it to even count as 20%. There's no way it's only gonna be 10% of Dark Matters. Okay, so it's gonna be 15%. We'll take that. There's that aura, that last pack magic. Please do me good. Come on, come on. Okay, you know what? I don't mind it. 
I would have preferred to get Andre Karolinko, if anything, because he's still going for like, what, 85,000 MT, but he's pretty much the only dark matter in these packs that isn't invincible that actually has value. I got the chance to try out this OG Anobi, and he's actually a very solid card. Everybody else is just kind of, you know, eh, I'm going to sell him. Quick sell him. Yep, sacrifice. Get quick sold. OG, we love you. You can go to the auction house. Everybody else, goodbye. You know what? I'm going to switch it up. Heroes in Invincibles box, and then we'll go back to the glorious. There's just no way that we don't pull a Jordan or Kobe or Bird or Kareem, right? I know Kareem is still going for a good amount. The cheapest one is Larry Bird. Right there, we get a Dark Matter off the bat, and we know at the minimum, it's a guaranteed hero card. If we see Jokic or Yao or anything, this pack opening might be saved. Oh no, it's him. It's him. It's John Wick. Everybody hide. Thief, thief, thief. Oh. Huh? Welcome to the team, buddy. Welcome to the team. How long do you guys think he's going to end up getting suspended for? Like, I'm thinking it's probably going to end up being half the season. From the way Adam Silver is making it sound, they're making it sound like they're going to kick him out of the NBA damn near. But that's a decent start to the box. John Morant actually has better value than damn near every Dark Matter in those other packs. So we're vibing. The question is, will we see more Dark Matters? I know it says the odds are lower in this one, but this one has a topper too. Y'all can see we're already on Dark Matter number two. So this video is damn near a, a class experiment. Which packs are better? Duncan Robinson, you've been doing your thing. You got to be a little bit better in the finals, but who's this? Eastern shooting guard number 10. Oh, DeMar DeRozan. Okay, okay. Hey, I'll take the rush cards. Neither of those are really that bad. I'm not sure if they took a huge dip in value, but when we first pulled them, they were selling for like 35, 40K MT, and DeRozan is probably the best rush card in the game right now, in my opinion. But we're gonna fly through this box, go back to the glorious packs that hopefully will give us a hint of glory. Y'all can see the odds in these boxes just feel like they're better. And this one is a guaranteed rush or hero card. Who is it going to be? Shooting guard? Number eight? This man, I think he actually goes for a good amount of MT. Because you need oh, this. Oh, and it's holographic. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. That's delicious. I need my analytical glasses. What? Look beyond the card. That says, uh, oh, that might be an invincible. This might be an invincible. Something deep down is telling me this might be invincible. He's bald. He's not Michael Jordan. He's the one Michael Jordan was making fun of in the documentary. This was the man that was like, hey, I was guarding up Jordan. I was giving him trouble. And Jordan literally laughed at you in the documentary. I'd be so pissed off. I'm not going to lie. If someone was watching footage of me and just laughed. It is holographic, though. That is a dub, but we're going to keep moving. I wish there was a lock-in for the rush cards, though. Pack number 19 out of 20. At this point, all I'm hoping for is a Dark Matter topper to make things even better. I think we pulled more Dark Matters in this box than the other one, right? But let's see what this awaits us. Please glow. Hallelujah. 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 Who this? Who this? Eastern. Point guard. Number one. He doesn't have a dollar, but he sh damn sure has a penny. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but that's a dub pull. And I think Penny actually does go for a decent amount of MT. Do not quick sell any of these. I definitely want to keep the holographic one. We'll sell the other one. Goodbye. Goodbye. We'll keep the holographic of that as well. Again, this was the best value one. But here's the thing, Michael Jordan. Me and you's beef isn't done. You know what? I will make you a deal. If Michael Jordan comes out of these packs as an invincible, I will be on camera calling that man the GOAT. I will say that. I have never called that man the GOAT in public, but for the sake of that invincible- Oh! Damn! Why do they always catch me off guard like that? I'll say it. I'll say it. Just show that shiny, shimmering, bald head. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're back to this. We're back to this. The Hall of Fame trolling has already begun, and it hasn't even been 10 minutes. Oh my gosh. This is all I saw on my hunt for the invincible LeBron James. Thank goodness I took that man out of the option pack because to this day, I still have not been able to pull him. 
2K loves to troll me. I, I am the one that damn near spends the most on this game for you guys. Unless there's someone out there that does more, maybe Troy Dan, y'all gotta show me some love. Pack number 10 out of 20, we get a, the fake Larry Bird there, but still no sighting of a dark matter until right there. Lim Guardian love you so. Boom. This one can be anybody but John Stockton and I won't complain. Show me Jeremy Lin. Actually, don't. Don't. Okay, so right now, OG Ananobi is apparently the troll. Before, we were getting a bunch of Brandon Ingrams. We didn't really get a bunch of Lori Markinens. I don't know how good that card is, though, because no one's really talking about him, but OG, will you still be a Raptor this year? That's the real question. Back to back? Damn. All right, round three of these boxes. Ah, Dark matter. Please, I see the Knicks logo. <laughs> there is somebody in here that is a Nick. We don't want that. Where is Chicago? Huh? Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. Oh my goodness. That's the wrong man. Chris Middleton. We're going back to back. It's looking scary. Let me tell you a story, ladies and gentlemen. Once upon a time, there lived a pack addict. Some people like to call him Henry, but let's call him Troy Dan for fun. He opened a back-to-back -back dark matter and pulled something he just could not believe. Spoiler alert, it was Jeremy Lin. This is the worst back-to-back -back run of all time. Let me 3P. Let me 3P. Come on. I know you got it in. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. In the same spot. Flip it over right away. This might be, this might be it. This might be it. This might be, oh! Why did you guys get 6,500 likes? I didn't have to open packs, but y'all wanna go crazy and show love in my videos. What is wrong with you guys? I love y'all, but what is wrong with you guys? 4 P? Oh, that would've been crazy. These packs right here are meant to test if you've got that Michael Jordan willpower. Everybody calls them Michael Jor Gambles, but we're definitely gambling right now to get Jor Gambles himself, come on. 50 on black. Oh, oh, that's gonna be that tall seven foot Utah Jazz All-Star, which honestly isn't too bad. Definitely the wrong number 23, but hey, we'll take it, man. Lori Markinen, you actually might be really good. On the bright side, we've already pulled four, now five dark matters before we even got to 10. This might be the God Box, come on, man. Make this one the one. Make us happy, that's gonna be original Ananobi once again. Y'all see that, right? Dark Matter number six, and another card is doing the Limgardian Leviosa. Wow! John Havlicek, were you a teammate of Larry Bird? Or was it Bill Russell? I don't even remember my eras. All I know is I want an Invincible. <laughs> okay, OG, I love you, my brother. Get the hell out of my packs. I haven't wanted you to be traded more than this moment right now. You are on purpose making me hate you, and that's 2K's fault, not even yours. We got six more packs here, man. This has been a good box overall. Six Dark Matters is definitely a hard thing to complain about, but not getting an Invincible once we end up spending a total of like, what, two million VC between two pack openings? That's gonna suck. That's a, that's a lot of moolah. There's another Dark Matter. 17 out of 20, there's still hope. There's still hope! Ah! I was playing a game of Unlimited earlier, and Josh Smith was cooking my ish. Like, that's actually a good card. He's got a very nasty leaner, so if you're a budget hooper, I mean, all the dark matters that keep coming out, they're all gonna be insane budget gods. Go ahead, give them a try. I mean, 2Ks towards the end of the cycle here, so any cards you can get your hands on, don't try to save MT, man. The game will be done in like three months. Have fun with it as much as you can. Go out, enjoy the sun in the summer, and do not open packs. You'll end up like me. Ow. Running it back once again, kicking it off with another Dark Matter Glow. So now the Dark Matters are starting to fly out. Now it's just the hope of, can we get <laughs> the right one? I say no more John Stocktons and you give me literally 60,000 OGs. No matter what comes out of this pack, I will not react, good or bad. I am a man of peace. Join me, hold my hand, for today, 
we have pulled a European demon. He might be one of the better players in the league next year, depending on the leap that he takes. Lori Markinen. Yes, sir. I love the dark matter glow in the middle. That's one thing that doesn't get old because it catches you off guard so much. But one thing that doesn't is that stupid afro on our fellow Raptor. Oh, look at him. He's throwing the money sign up in the air. He's like, look at this idiot just wasting VC to pull me 20 more times. You know what, HTB? Here's another one of me. 12 out of 20, no glow. <laughs> I've been waiting for this day. What? According to my calculations, pack number 18 must contain Jordan. I can't do this. I can't, I can't do this anymore. That VC went by fast and we're down to our final box. I honestly should have just opened another hero and in invincible box because uh, yeah, yeah. All right, come on, man. Amp up the energy, positivity only for the rest of this box. I don't care what we pull, good vibes. Okay, that's that looks like it's gonna be my boy Brandon Ingram. Hey, you got braids, I got twists. Let's be best friends later on. Right now, I'm on a journey to pull Invincible Jordan. So we'll talk about it later, let's keep it rolling. Come on, Jordan, gambler. You know what? I know why Jordan wouldn't show up. You're scared of me. You're not the GOAT. If you were the GOAT, you would step up and show up in this pack right now on 420. Go ahead, prove it. Prove it. That's what I thought. You're scared of me. 9 out of 20 stands for Luol Deng, who wore number 9 playing for the Chicago Bulls. You know who else did? Jor Gambles. Come on, baby. Okay, it's been a while since we've seen this guy, but I figured he was going to show up eventually. Jeremy Lin from the New York Knicks. Has anyone actually tried any of these troll cards? Like, is Stockton good? Is Jeremy Lin even usable? Y'all gotta let me know. Lim Guardian Leviosa! 18 out of 20. We've got two more packs out of this. Oh! Oh! No! 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 Stop! Stop! I can't Daddy. take the troll <laughs> cards anymore! Oh my gosh. Don't ask. My badonk donk is telling me. You what? This one's the one. Bruh. Invincible LeBron is in these packs. No, no, no. I have never been put through more trolling than this weekend in packs ever in my life. I don't even want to look at this one. It probably sucks. Donk was right! We pulled an Invincible. It wasn't Michael Jordan. It wasn't LeBron. It wasn't Kareem. It wasn't Kobe. But it is somebody that I still do not have. Oh my. Thank you, Magic Johnson. I was positive you were going to save the day. Okay, so now that we've actually pulled an Invincible card this weekend, I'm in a good mood. So here's the thing. If we manage to get 5,000 likes on this video, I will give away a copy of 2K24 to one of you guys. If we get to 10,000, I'll give away two copies. 15,000, I'll give away four copies. Y'all let me know how many y'all want out there. The more love, the better for everybody. Let's see if we can get blessed on the top of. Okay, you know, I don't care. We, we got an invincible. I'm happy now. I know the super packs are probably going to be the better deal, but come on, man. This is a glorious pack opening for a reason. We might have pulled an Invincible, but that doesn't mean that I still don't want that Jordan. I need him not only for a video, but I've got some squad builder ideas with that card. Am I going to have to end up buying him at this rate? Probably, because uh, 
I might need to take a VC hiatus. That's just way too much this weekend. Way too much. Luckily, y'all have been showing insane love on the videos, so I can actually afford to do so. Dark Matter on 420, do not get excited. This always means bad things. 420 is the ultimate troll number on the HDB channel. I told you, man, you just can't react to it. Jeremy Lin, NBA champion. There's nothing I love more than scrolling through Twitter and seeing all these invincible cards that people apparently pulled. All these people with like two followers. I'm telling y'all, y'all are bots. Y'all are baiting people into opening packs. 14 out of 20, it's supposed to be a lucky number. I doubt it though. It's the number of love. Oh! Oh! Yes! 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 Finally! Not one, two Invincibles! We're cl the Badonka Donk was right! Everybody in the comment section right now, faith in Badonka Donk, type it! Type it! I low-key thought this was gonna be the Troll Kareem, cause as it was revealing, I remember someone telling me in the comment section, not only is Jordan Troll, but so is Kareem cause he also has a Dark Matter. Oh man, I'll take it. The greatest center of all time. Final pack of that box is a dud, but hey, Invincible Kareem. I didn't have him yet. You know what? We're gonna sacrifice all of you guys. I do not care for any of those troll dark matters. We can now afford some singles. Actually, we can afford a 10 box. Last time I neglected it and it backfired on me. Let's see if it's got any juice in it this time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Juicy. Number two, a troll number, but today it is, who is that? Oh, oh my, I think that's Jimmy, but I, I was like, wait, I don't, I'm not even familiar with that player. I low-key look like Carmelo, but I already had Carmelo. Hey, Jimmy, one thing he definitely gets is buckets. Come on, baby. I know this invincible window isn't done just yet. We can still open singles. We're getting straight to that. I know for a certified Badonka Donk fact, there is one more invincible in here. We just gotta find him. Is it this one though? Hold on. Ooh, it's not, but I like this. This actually makes us a little bit of MT, so I'm not mad at blah, 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 blah. I can't speak English. What I'm trying to say is AK-47. Again, I'm scrolling through Twitter and literally look at that. Somebody else has pulled Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Shout out to you, B Street. You seem to have the best pack luck in the world. Right here, we've got ourselves yet another dark. Oh shit! Two dark matters! That's the first time I've ever pulled a dark matter coach! Yo! Oh my gosh, please, please be fire. Please be fire. Please, please complete the dynamic duo. Oh, nope. oh, it's gonna be OG Adenobi. Honestly, I'm more glad I pulled Bill Russell. Those coaches are insanely rare. Insanely rare. I'm happy about OG, get out of here. This card is literally worth 20 times more than that OG Adenobi. Yo, let's go. Love to see it, man. Love to see it. We're on to the MT singles at this point. So we're hoping for some luck. After seeing that someone has pulled Jordan, it's possible. Are things juicing up again? We've pulled Kareem, Magic, Coach Bill, Jeremy Lin. Okay, Jeremy Lin. But there's hope because clearly there's some kind of wave going on right now and I'm in a good window. I just need to see if I can catch something. Back to back, back to back to back. Twice in the middle. Malcolm in the middle, Malcolm. Malcolm goes with Michael, Michael Jordan. Oh my goodness, that stupid bald head of Chris Middleton damn near fools me every time. You know what, Middleton? I'm sorry. That was unwarranted hate. I hope you have yourself a fabulous day. Just not in my packs. The only invincible card I do not have from this weekend is Michael. We now have Kareem. I got Kobe out of the option pack. And I got Larry Bird from grinding that free trophy case thing that gave us the in free invincible, which was awesome. But all I need is Jor Gambles. We are flying through an insane amount of MT. So uh, we might have to call it pretty soon on our next Dark Matter. What is that? Hey. 
Why is that dark matter glow looking at me like that? Let's end this on a banger! Come on! Oh, no way! <laughs> Why do my videos keep ending like this?